Hello and welcome back to the D3 Energy live stream. I am Greg Davis, founder of D3 Energy. And today in light of Hurricane Harvey hitting the Texas Gulf Coast, I'm gonna take a break from the usual discussion about conventional oil and gas and its resurgence into America's energy industry today and give you a little information about the Gulf Coast and its economic importance to the United States and then discuss the oil and gas industry in particular. So essentially 17% of America's oil and gas comes out of the Gulf of Mexico and 45% of America's refining capacity for oil and gas and diesel for our cars comes out of the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. And then of course the Gulf Coast is home to one of America's greatest fisheries and cargo industries and shipping and millions and millions of people are employed in the Gulf Coast. And first of all, our prayers and our well wishes go out to all those first responders and for all those that are affected who have been affected by this continuing disaster. Our prayers go out for you. So let me tell you just briefly what happens when a hurricane enters the Gulf of Mexico. The oil and gas industry, the offshore oil and gas industry, essentially when they see a hurricane company coming, they evacuate everybody off the rigs. And so it's a, it's a laborious and it's actually a dangerous process to bring everybody on shore. A lot of work has to be done, but they make sure to protect everybody. And then the refineries along the Gulf Coast, for which, again, 45% of our refining capacity comes out of the Gulf Coast, they go into shutdown mode. But many people have to stay there to protect those assets because without those refineries, gas prices go up and everybody's lives are affected. And so the total impact of this storm is yet to be known, but we know there is going to be a big economic impact, both for oil and gas, for fisheries, for cargo, in addition to all the property and casualty. So again, I wanted to take a little time today to talk to you and give you a little information that you may not have known about how important the Gulf of Mexico is to the United States. So I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be monitoring the situation just like you all are. Again, our prayers go, our thoughts go for everybody affected by this. Stay safe, stay away from the water, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for taking time with me again today.